no sandbags in the city of San Francisco. That's concerning because thousands of you saw major flooding problems New Year's Eve, especially in those low-lying areas. Betty, you talked with families who are worried they're going to have to deal with even more damage. Betty. We are on Marina Boulevard, which was hard hit by that New Year's Eve storm. And as you can see, many residents are not taking any chances with this storm. This family says it went to great lengths to secure these sandbags. Uh, these are dehumidifiers. The Shavastava home on Marina Boulevard is still drying out from the New Year's Eve storm. The family returned from a holiday trip on Monday to find their entire bottom floor, including their garage and car, flooded. The force of the water was so strong, it knocked their garage door off its track. Wednesday's storm is expected to be even more powerful. We're very worried about it. We just spent all day putting sandbags in front of the garage at every entering point. Shavastava said he waited two hours for five sandbags Tuesday at the Department of Public Works. He and his wife Denise filled up more empty bags with sand throughout the day. Since Saturday, the city has given out nearly 10,000 free sandbags. We just ran out. 8 a.m. tomorrow, you'll be able to come back and get more, okay? Workers had to tell drivers that they ran out around 5.30 in the evening. The Shravastavas are also expecting more pricey repairs. Knowing that we've been through this a year before, having to rip out all the floors, knowing that we're going to have to do that again this year, probably need to do the sheetrock also, and it's, yeah, it's we, difficult. We had a similar flood uh, just last October. On Tuesday, we saw several people waiting to buy storm supplies at Fredericks and Hardware in the marina. The city said it will have extra workers staffed around the clock. We have been working very hard to source sandbags from wherever we can in Northern California. Some are being delivered to our operations yards. We're also sending trucks out to pick them up. If you don't have to be out in San Francisco, please don't be out on the roads. Srivastava said he plans to work from home on Wednesday. My hope is that uh, our city will respond to this and uh, you know, redouble our efforts to improve our drainage and uh, do something to prevent this in the future because it's going to keep happening.